Uh, Twitch doesn't seem to realize we're live yet. I'm just going to give it a few seconds, make sure it's working. Hey, it is working. Fantastic. Fingers crossed we uh, don't run into any issues like we have in the past. Just leave that there. Fantastic. So, uh, still trying to decide if I want to do some Theros Sealed or Draft. Both sound like a lot of fun. Um, tell you what, last time we tried Sealed and I had an absolute dog shit time. So, this time let's try Sealed again and see if we can get slightly luckier with the, you know, removal side of the game. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Warrior is. Alright. Well, we saw Thrix last time and didn't do so well. I rate Elspeth decently simply because it's a planeswalker with recursion. You can get it back. What else we got? Maybe draw a card, you may pay one, put a counter on it, and create a tentacle. That seems very good. And Dream Troll, whenever you draw a card against Plus One Seven until end of turn, whenever it attacks, draw a card. We might be in blue white if our cards support it. At least the Kraken and the Dream Troll will work well together. And the ability to give this thing hexproof at instant speed is pretty decent. And double generic, spend only to cast artifact or activate abilities of artifacts. Equip creatures you control have flying in haste. That could be extremely potent. And we have the Akron Wall, which I think is real real good, actually. Steal your opponent's best creature. Until your next turn, creatures your opponent's control attack each combat of Able, which means they're all going to be tapped down. And then each tap creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Yeah, not, not a bad haul, actually. We could potentially run all six of these cards in the same deck. Um, the only issue would be that uh, you know, we've got a lot of double blue, double white going on, so getting red in there might be difficult. Let's take a look at what we've actually got. Yeah, much better layout. So, it might have got Elseed of Life's Bounty, solid one drop. Remember an enchantment in the battlefield, type of creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Flicker, very good. You have the Pride, whenever cast a spell that targets it, creatures you control get plus one. There's a whole cycle of cards with Hero in the name that have this exact ability. I believe there's one in every color. And Phalanx Tactics, target creature gets plus two and plus one. Each other creature gets plus one, plus one. So this is pretty good with Hero with the Pride. Uh, auras you cast cost one less to cast. This is quite good. There's a whole deck revolving around this kind of effect in standard at the moment that's quite decent. Plus two, plus two, first strike whenever it deals combat damage to a player. Create a one on a human soldier token. Create two one ones. Gain two life, and you can sack it to scry. Elsbeth, of course. I can enchantment card from the graveyard on top of your library. If you do, you gain life equal to CMC. That's pretty decent. And Archon of Falling Stars. Just a way to get enchantment cards back from the graveyard to the battlefield. Um, in white, at least, we don't have any big enchantments that we'd want to be hitting with that. Like, the biggest one we have is Commanding Presence. Um, but, yeah, could be worse. We have we have a Pegasus. Pegasuses are always playable and limited. Uh, let's have a look. Chain of Memory. Ugh. Eidolon. Uh, pay 7 and sack a creature to draw 3 cards. At least it's not a tap ability, so if you have 8 mana, you can potentially cast it and sack it at the same time. But... It's not a great plan. Glimpse of Freedom, draw a card, you can escape it for three and five cards. That's solid. Omen, scry two, draw a card, you can sack it to scry two. Solid. Flash Flying, one, three, target creature print score, uh, controls gets minus six, minus seven, time, ten, way execute devotion to blue. Solid. The Looter Instructor, not good. Ichthyomorphosis, actually decent. Kraken, of course, I've already said, seems very good. I have curves. If you get enough flash creatures, that's solid. We have an actual counter spell. Draw three, then discard two unless you control an enchantment. There's a lot of enchantments floating around. And there's a lot of cards that are, like, coincidentally enchantments, like the uh, Nyxborn Seaguard here. 
Flash Flying. Flash is good with Nyad. Oh, in Denial, another counter spell. Whenever enchantment enters the battlefield, your control gains flying till end of turn. Not great. Thrix, pretty decent. Sea God Scorn, return to three type creatures under enchantment Serena's hands. Uh, too expensive for the effect, you'd want it to return everything. Brian Giant, it's fine. So I'm really looking for removal here. So, I've got removal in the form of Mogi's, Mogi's Favor. Uh, return a creature from graveyard to hand. Draw two cards, lose two, mill two. Target opponent sacrifices a creature or an enchantment. That's removable right there. It's not targeted, which is unfortunate. Exile target card from a graveyard. Can't block, you can escape it with two counters. Yeah. Freak of Spawn exiles for six mana. Escapes with two counters. When it, only when it escapes, each opponent sacrifices a non Gorgon. This one's fine if you're in if you're in black. Because you at least get you know, usually you get something killed with this if you're in black. Blood Aspirant, that means he breathes blood. Um, if you sacrifice a permanent, permanent, put a counter on him, pay two, tap, sack a creature, deals one damage to target creature, that creature can't block. I mean, it kind of, it allows itself to do its thing, which is good. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know that we've got a real sacrifice play here going. So what else we got? Alright, so a 2 2 that exiles things when it trades with them. A rummager. Uh, faithless looting. Or whatever the 2 mana version of that is called. Tormenting Voice. Underworld Fires. One damage to each creature on planes. Walk of permanent damage to dies to an exile instead. It's a way to get rid of escape creatures. Faithful End. 3 damage to any target. Scry 1. It's fine, you run that. Here are the games, again, it's the hero cycle we were talking about before. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, put a 1 1 counter on Arena Trickster. I'm starting to see a theme here. We've got a fair few flash creatures in blue, and I think we even had one or two in white. Um, and flash creatures and counter spells with this card seem pretty decent, and we do have two of them. Reaching 4 4, whenever two or more creatures your opponents attack. Flamish Psychops can't block, so it prevents your opponent from having one good flyer getting through. Four mana enchantment. Enchants a creature for plus one plus one, and it deals four damage to target creature or planeswalker. I mean, it's it's removal. You play it. A uh, Act of Treason. A Crow on War, we've already talked about. Rapid Flames. It's not amazing, but it lets you crack in. Dream Shaper Shaman. Beginning your incept, you may pay three and sacrifice something. If you do, reveal cards from the library until you reveal target. Until you reveal a non land permanent, put that card into the battlefield. Wait, what? <laughs> sacrifice a non land permanent. Get a random. Get the next non land permanent from your library on the battlefield. And the rest of the cards go into your library. That seems. Hella good. Like, hella good. Alright, what do we have? Gift of Strength, yep. Same as always. Plummet, same as always. Return to Nature, yep. Seems fine. For heaven, sure. Yeah, I don't rate the Chimera very highly. Nexus Wardens. Omen of the Hunt, yes. Inspire or Fog. Yep. Uh, this thing that I played last time, and it seems fine, and Xborn Colossus that I had last time. So I don't think we're in green or black, to be honest. I think we're going with the original plan, where we're in blue, white, red. We even have some fixing here, which is nice. And I think we run all of it. So, um, Dream Trawler. I think we run... Only cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. I don't think that's worth taking. We don't have any actual equipment. Um, so the equipped creatures clause doesn't help us at all. And we only have two artifacts and combined they cost four mana. And they don't have any activated abilities that cost a bunch of mana. So no, we're not running Dakalos. Could run Hero of the Nyxborn. And it's again, it's part of the hero cycle. It makes a body. 
I'm going to put it in for now and then we'll see where we're at. So let's restrict our colors. Um, I like Alcade. The uh, Tiger Creature and Enchantment gains protection from the color of your choice is very relevant. Um, just looking through. Omen of the Sun's probably worth playing. 3 mana, 2-2, two, two, that also gives you an enchantment. Instant speed, summons 2-2s, two, and you gain 2 life. There's not really anything particularly terrible about it. Uh, we're going to be running Elspeth. Let me just run through and get all the all the pieces I think are kind of important. If we want any source of card draw that isn't terrible. Um, so oddly enough Elite Instructor counts. Ichthyomorphosis we want. We want any flash spell. There we go. We're already up to 35 and we have like no red. I'm going to pop into red. I'm looking more for removal than anything else. So we'll take Fateful End. We'll take Aroas' Blessing. We'll take Yakro and War. I kind of want to take Dream Shaper Shaman. It gives us a top end that does something, but I feel like it's only particularly good if you have... Like, you'd have to have this weird combination of cheap permanents that you're okay with getting rid of and expensive permanents that you want to swap them out for. At the moment, I feel like we're not quite there. But I'll, I'll put it in for a second. Card draw. Arena Trickster I feel like is good with all of our flash and instant speed stuff. Um, Port of Betrayal is good. Could take Underworld Fires. It's a good way of dealing with, um, with like token generating decks. Uh, it's going to kill all of our tokens, though we don't have a ton of them. I feel like it's worth taking. And yeah, I know I'm well over 40. I'm just, I'm looking at what I have and what I want to have. So if we take a look at our details. Um, we're very light on creatures. We're heavy on non-creatures. We're heavy on three drops, four drops. So we want to buff up our ones and twos if we can. Um, we could absolutely take the Pious Wayfarer. That's not terrible. We could absolutely take the Eidolon. In fact, I feel like with an enchantment, that's probably worth. Um, we've got a decent amount of flying, so commanding presence is going to be pretty good if we can get it out. Uh, we have a few auras, so transcendent envoy is probably good. As removal. Mm. Let's change our layout a little bit here and take a look at what our deck actually looks like. So right off the bat, I'm thinking we don't have enough solid top end things for Dream Shaper Shaman to really be useful. Hang on, I'm I'm getting I'm getting notifications from somebody. I'll deal with this. And mute. Just give me a couple hours. Very good. We are now muted. Alright, so as I was saying, Dream Shaper Shaman, it feels like you need more high-end expensive things for it to be good. And we really only have two. Other than that, we kind of top out our curve at four mana. Speaking of the curve, at the moment it's putting us pretty even on lands with a slight, slightly heavier red. I don't think we want to be heavier in red. Uh, because we have a handful of double blues and double whites that we want to be hitting. So we want to be taking a look through. We'll cut the Act of Trees and we'll keep the Arena Tricksters. I think we keep Thrill of Possibility. Drawing two cards is too good to pass up. Could probably drop Underworld Fires. Yeah, that kind of that fixes our mana a little bit. Do we want to run Unknown Shores? I mean, it is... It is going to enable us to hit our our double color things like Dream Trawler, so that's probably worthwhile. Yeah, let's have a look. Just under Envoy Auras. Uh, uh, okay, I was kind of hoping it would show cards that were over here as well. Yeah, that's not doing what I wanted it to do. 
Um, let's take a look at the details. Uh, aura. We have three. Three auras. So we can probably cut Transcendent Envoy. Again, we do want more one and two drops if we can do it. So let me just... There we go. Here are our one and two drops that are available. Um, Flicker of Fate's probably a solid one. Singer is definitely good for us. Just because it's the, the flash ability. And we've uh, got... Uh, where are you? Got Arena Trickster. Which wants us to be casting things on our opponent's turn if we can. So a, a two mana flash creature is kind of perfect for that. Alright, so from this I'm seeing that we want to cut three drops. We want to keep the altar. We don't particularly care about the devotion, but the fact that it's a mana rock is extremely good. So we have draw three, then discard two. T normally in this deck that's just going to be draw three, so that's worth it. It's one of two counter spells that we have. We can probably drop Omen of the Sun. It's, it's got everything that we want though. It's, it's an enchantment, it's flash, it gives us bodies. We can do it on our opponent's combat step and mess with blocking. Kind of the same there. We we kind of need the Nidia Kraken. That's going to be our end game kind of engine. Drawing cards, growing our board, growing our big dude. Probably drop the Instructor. Do we want to drop Commanding Presence? I don't like dropping it. <laughs> This is the aggressive option, and the question becomes, are we the aggressive deck? I feel like if we can get this out on Thrix, or something similar, it's going to end the game very quickly. But we do need to drop four cards. I'm going to drop it for now. Keep Eros' Blessing, we need the removal. Same with Triumphant Surge. We're going to keep Elspeth because I feel like it's going to be useful. It's also basically our only escape card, except for a Glimpse of Freedom. And they are going to kind of be a bit parasitic. They're going to be exiling the cards that each of them want. But, like, if we really need the card draw, we have it in Glimpse of Freedom. If we have Elspeth in the graveyard, we can probably just keep bringing back Elspeth. Plus we got Fateful End. Yep, solid. 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 Not so solid. Yeah, I'm going to drop the hero. Alright, down to 42. Just got to drop two more cards. Starting to get to the really, really annoying bit though. We want to keep Nyad, because if we can get this out on the board and protect it, then it's going to make it a lot easier for us to cast our flash spells. All the cards that we have do things that we want. Don't make me choose. Two cards. We definitely want to keep our mana. We don't want to. We don't want to mess with that because we're 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 more of a mid range deck than we are an aggro deck. I must say the stream seems to be performing decently today. We haven't dropped any frames yet. Um, is Whirlwind Denial worth keeping? Again, it's, we only have two counter spells. I want to keep it. We're keeping the Traveler's Amulet because uh, some of our mana costs are a little bit tight. This gives us card draw. Could drop an Arena Trickster. I think that's one of our, one of our payoffs for the entire deck, one of our win conditions. We drop the Akroan War, but again, I think it's just very good. <sighs> Feck. Yeah, it didn't change anything. I think we're okay without that land anyway. I 
think it's worth keeping Thrix just for being a big body, even though its ability isn't terribly relevant. It is going to make Dream Trawler cheaper, but that's the only thing it's going to make cheaper. It's also going to make Dream Trawler uncounterable, which is very good. Alright. So, Omen of the Sun is one of the cards that I've been going back and forth on, and I'm not certain that we want. We definitely don't want freaking six red lands. We'll, we'll adjust that. We've got to drop one more. It's probably Whirlwind Denial, sadly. It's just too much, too much goodness here. Or we run 41 cards. <laughs> it's always a possibility. Good old lucky 41. Alright, let's go up a plains. Go down a mountain. It's pr probably worth going down two mountains. In order to go up an island, because we're very heavy on blue. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to run it like this. And I think Dream Trawler is going to be... The, uh, the avatar of the deck. Let's take a look. What do we got? What? Oh, that's how that works. Cool. Let's take Carney Boy. Let's see how this goes. I, I like this deck a lot better than our last seal deck. I feel like we do a lot more. I think we can deal with a lot more. But uh, I will admit, I'm not thinking this is going to be a 7 0 deck. My last deck was two wins and then and then bow out. This one's probably closer to three if it actually works, and like zero if it doesn't work at all. Well, not not terrible start actually. Like we can't play Alcid of Life Spanty, unfortunately. Uh, but we do have a turn two thriller possibility. We can discard the Alcid to draw two cards. I think that's worthwhile. Hello. And we have the Akron Maw. Thriller possibility? Wolf Willow Haven. So that uh, just ramps him up a little bit. Yeah, we'll discard the one drop. Yeah, and we got the planes that we would have needed for the one drop, but this is fine. I'll be right back. Just grabbing a little thing. Opponents on four mana, two of a green. Righto. He's got the looter. I think we play the island, pass the turn. We've got a very full grip. But we do have things we can do with that full grip. Very good. So our opponent's on a ton of mana, so we've got to hold up for memory drain. He's not doing much to us other than that. Yeah, you can't... Oh, that's not even a tap ability. Interesting. So you could have you could have used that. Uh, you're going to do anything. Sweet. Well, we play a planes. We have a flashy Thrix boy. So we just pass. Play Thrix on his end step. And if he decides that this is the turn that he's going to go off and cast his big threat, we, uh, we memory drain him. Is, are they playing like a three colored deck and they're not getting the color they need? Or do they have like a full grip of creature removal? That could very well be a possibility. 
If it is, we'll see it right now. No? Elspeth. That's not worth using yet. Just looking around. So we've got two mana up, but all of our stuff costs four. So I think we just get in. Alright, not seeing any of the removal yet. End turn. Are uh, you going to start looting? Or rummaging, I should say? You can. Oh, he had the mana to do it twice. He must like what he has in his hand. He's just not casting anything. Well, it's not actually that important that I counter this. So I don't think I will, because I can kill it with Rose's Blessing. You know, it makes us sadder, but that doesn't affect much. Gets in for one with the Oread. Nope. Cool beans. Well, Rose's Blessing, targeting Thrix. Yes. It ETBs, we kill the 4 4. If he has a 1 mana destroy target enchantment, he can destroy the enchantment, but the effect still happens. Thirst for meaning, this is an instant. So we'll do it on his turn. Uh, no, we'll do it now. Because I don't believe Thrix is an enchantment creature. Indeed he isn't. So we'll do this now. Back to a full grip. But I... Uh, unless you discard an enchantment card. Do I want to discard the Akroan War? Or do I want to discard two other cards? We could very easily discard two other cards. I like our cards. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of the Akron War. We already got value out of uh, out of that enchantment, so I don't mind it being on the bottom too much. And next turn we can start doing some fun stuff. Because we'll be at the manor where we can play Arena Trickster and hold up Memory Drain. And counter a spell on his turn. <clears throat> putting counters on Arena Trickster, we can start flashing in things like Threnody Singer. We can hold up Triumphant Surge for if he plays something big. Like, we are in a very good spot right now. Here are the games. Cool. Are you going to target it with something and swing in? Target it with an aura? That, you know, that's... That was very bad. This isn't a May ability. Oh no, it is. It's an up to one ability. Fair. Fateful end. Well, that's that's fun. Um, so we play the arena trickster. We want to hold up double blue. And we want to hold up a red. Yep. Like that. Um, do we get in? I think we do. Yep. And yeah, end turn. So we have Memory Drain here. In case he plays something big and scary. If he doesn't, we can remove something with Fateful End. Um... So I feel like here we Fateful End the hero, Eroes' Blessing doesn't enter the battlefield. Don't think we need any more land right now. He 
just wished us good game twice. He might be trying to bait us. If he goes through with this attack, I'm going to block the Oread. Try and cut him off that rummaging. But he probably has an instant here and he's baiting me. Yep, so they're going to trade. No, they're not, because they gained first strike. Should have read that card. But that's fine. The life gain isn't terribly important here. Trumpet Surge isn't going to work. We could Ichthyomorphosis something. But I think this is the turn to Memory Drain. Holding up... Sorry, to Elspeth holding up Memory Drain. And... Minus two the Elspeth. Go to attacks. Swing with Thrix. End the turn. In this turn we have Memory Drain for to counter a big threat and we have Thronity Singer to uh, stop like a big attack. And an ETB's draw a card. I feel like we're better off just memory draining that. <laughs> Keep him from drawing out of the hole that he's in. Yeah, they've wished us good game like five times. I'm not good gaming after like the fifth time that you've said good game. So the deck performed pretty admirably there. Um, I think it's pretty obvious that if we get into a circumstance where our opponent's are aggroing us at the start of the game, we don't have a lot of outs. So we need to try and stop that from happening. So the opponent's going first again, we have a Traveler's Amulet. Uh, we don't have any blue, but we have ways of getting blue before we can start casting these. Um, don't have a very good game plan here, but I'm going to keep. Alright, our opponent doesn't have the fastest hand either. Underworld Ragehound, that is an actual problem. Uh, we could Ichthyomorphosis it next turn, but uh, I feel like this turn we don't really have a lot of options except to go fetching up the island that we need. So we're going to be taking at least three here. Ugh, that's, that is rough. We need to start killing things. I think this turn it's going to be a fateful end. We could hold up Vexing Gull to block and kill the Dreamstalker. But I think we just don't want this to be on the board. So it might be wise to just kill it now while they don't have any mana. Mm, blue mana. We've got five in hand. This will put us up to six, which is enough for Dream Trawler. I think we just keep it. Next turn, if things get really bad, we can accrue in war. Play out the planes. I don't think we're in that bad a situation yet. I think we hold up Vexing Gull.
All right, flash it in. Memory drain. I prefer not to take five here, but four mana. Doesn't have three other cards in his graveyard. He can pump the Incendiary Oracle once. Well, we still blocked the Rage Hound. Arena Trickster. It's not bad, but it could be better. So the question becomes, how do we deal with this? Do we take their idol on with the Agron War? That would give us a blocker, thin their board down a little bit. would buy us some time and we need time <laughs> all right I think we just do it and we take their untapped creature it blocks the rage hound well I know they can pump the Incendiary Oracle twice, but I'd rather do this. Yep. We take four. We have ways of gaining life, so this isn't the end of the world. So his creatures are going to attack. We play out Dream Trawler. And we have cards in hand so we can give it Hexproof. Yep, he has to attack. He can pump this twice. I think we take the bait. If he has a way to give this plus four... I would rather take the bait and attack with Dream Trawler. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he's only going to hit us for three, and he's tapped out. Scry is two to the bottom, so, we, so he's digging. He's losing the Oracle right now. Dream Trawler is going to attack as a 5-5, five, five, possibly more. Because I am going to cast this. And I think I cast this. Oh, no, good game. I, gu I guess a flying lifelinker that gets stronger if you draw cards is just good enough to win on its own. Alright. We didn't attack a single time that game. On, on to game three, I guess. This is going a little better than I thought it would. I go first. I can't play Alcide. I'm waiting to draw, waiting to draw white mana. Um, I don't have the best opener. I think it's a keep. All right, uh, lead on blue, and say hello. Cool. Um, having a creature is very helpful. Worst case scenario is just something we can throw under the bus. Shib. Alright, so play out the island, pass turn. Uh, now we'll get him for two. Uh, for one. 
We can flash in the Vexing Gold during their turn. Uh, three colours. Top three cards in your graveyard, then you make it exile, make a 2 2. Again, X where X is the number of zombies you control. They can control two or three. I'm just going to play this out now. We need a couple of white sources for if we ever get Dream Trawler. Woe Strider. Oof. Uh, he had something else in there. What did he have? Calaf. Sweet. Well, we're drawing our white sources. That's very handy. How do we want to do this? We don't want to accrue on war yet. So I'm going to play out the Al Seed. Gives me some protection. Get in with the Vexing Gull. Yep, they're going to mill another three. They got rid of the Woe Strider. Ooh, that is rough. They didn't hit many creatures at all. Uh, they're going to try and remove my Vexing Gull. Um, do we just take that? I think we just take that. A 4-3. Sure. That might be worth a crow and worrying, actually. In fact, I believe it is. Get in with the 2-2. Two -two. They control two zombies, they gain two life, they scry two. They have a full grip, which I'm not terribly fond of. We're going to be discarding two cards. Well, unfortunate. Yep, that happens. Those are some good cards that we would have preferred to have. They're not forced to attack this turn. Now they are. See if they block. Nope. Take some beats. Um, I think we'll keep the planes in hand. No, it's better off on the field. This way, if we draw Dream uh, Dream Trawler, uh, we have the mana. If they had another aspect of Land Prey, I would have been pretty upset about not playing it. They attack. Uh, do we just take four? Yeah, I think we do. Seven mana. So if we if we draw another top deck, another land, we can. Uh, okay. Top deck another land, we can sack the Eidolon. Unfortunate. Yep. That's actually pretty decent to have here. Uh, do we get in? These guys don't have reach. And that is a solid blocker. Yeah, I don't think we attack. I think we'll just pass turn. Oh, I don't like it, but it could be worse. He can loot. She does, discarding a land. Oof. Well, we can't kill that. We don't have enough power and toughness on the board to kill it. 
he can loot again. Luckily, we now have a lot of removal that we can draw into. Um, our devotion to blue is going to be three. So we play this. So who's going to have their power and toughness reduced by three? I'd say it's probably going to be you. Master blockers, we're going to throw you under the Kraken bus and we're going to block you with you. I should have multi-blocked. That was, that was a punt. Well, we drew the island. So let's draw some cards. We have a couple creatures we can throw under the bus. And Elspeth is pretty decent here. Rose's Blessing could be worse. Cool. Draws three, discards either two or an enchantment. Discards an enchantment creature. Yeah, I get the feeling we're going to need a little bit of a miracle to get back in this game. Yeah, we got a block here. Um... We really should have multi-blocked the next board Marauder last turn. Still getting a little bit of life. Alcid gets to loot. God, that's good. Cool. Down tick Elspeth, getting two tokens. We could Eroas' Blessing and kill the next Born Marauder. Or we can hold up Whirlwind Denial. Whirlwind Denial is only good if he casts something that costs, what is that, one, two, three, four. He casts something that costs four or five. Five if he makes a land drop. Whereas this kills the thing right now. Is he going to give it pro? He's going to give it pro. Alright. We've got seven cards in the old graveyard, so we can recur Elspeth once or twice. Tapped it down. It's going to stay tapped. Swing both at Elspeth. Swing both at me? I mean, I'm going to block one anyway. Interesting. I probably wouldn't have swung both at me. Ugh, looting. All the looting. Oh, and that can escape. Oof. Well, we have an island. Uh, weirdly enough, that is Xaxes for Whirlwind Denial to be able to counter it. Uh, he can escape the tap. We can only minus one Elspeth now, which just gives our creatures power and toughness, but he's coming at our face. And we've got to keep blocking. Is he going to escape that instant? Yeah, I was going to say, he should do that on our turn if he does it at all. Uh, we're going to do this now. We want the scry. That's no good to us. We, we need Dream Trawler right now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to minus one to pump the creature. We're going to escape Elspeth. We're going to get rid of you, 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 you. Submit four. Uh, 
Um, I think we down tick to make some creature tokens. No attacks. We need the blocks. We can double block out the next born Marauder. They can escape their own Elspeth. Pump the team. Pumping the team doesn't help much if you can't give them Trample. We can gain 5 life off Elspeth and then resummon Elspeth, gain 5 life off Elspeth. Yep, they make their own Elspeth. If I had to guess, I'd say they down 1 to pump her dudes. Mm hmm. Gets in. So if we want to kill Nyxborn Marauder, we have to put all three into the same one. Um, I think we're probably better off just stalling. Because we really don't want to take six here. Omen of the Sea. I feel like that's worthwhile. This could get us into our Dream Trawler. Nadia Kraken. Thrix doesn't help us. Or does it? I think it does, actually. I don't think Kraken helps us. Because we're going to draw this now. We have enough mana to cast it. But then we can't do our double Elspeth play. Um, yeah, I think we need to do the double Elspeth play. So we've got to, we've got to keep digging for that Dream Drawer. Alright, goodbye Eidolon, goodbye Vexing Gold, goodbye Crowenwall, goodbye Nyad. And let's make some dudes. No attacks. So we're stalling the game out quite well, but we're not pulling into any of our shit that actually wins us the game. And now he has a big creature with a lifelink. Which I'm super not fond of. In a very stacked graveyard for Sleep of the Dead. Oof. We don't have enough mana to exile it. Pumps the team. We still have blockers. Traveler's Amulet does not help. So we'll thirst for meaning first. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's that dream trawler we needed. Discarding two cards. It's, it's Amulet and I think it's Island. Yeah, it's Island. We have exactly enough for dream trawler. So we play dream trawler. We make two dudes. And we pass turn. We can give Dream Troll a hexproof. And we will if he tries to remove it with anything. Cool. Elsbeth really is MVP in this match. Just the amount of slowdown uh, response. It now has hexproof. Yep, very good. Throw some bodies under the bus. We just need to survive. We have enough cards in Ye Oldie Graveyard to escape Elspeth again. So we're going to pump Dream Trawler. And this guy, why not? Yep, go to combat. We're going to attack with Dream Trawler. Uh, we're going to attack... Face or Elspeth? 
I think we just attack Face. Now let's attack Elspeth. Let's you know, let's make him start exiling shit. Is that worth? Let's attack Face. Draw a card because it attacked. Two cards that we can use to discard. Uh, to blockers, to damage, swing ourselves up to 19, play Elspeth, exiling some cards, possibly should have played a land first. Make two blockers. <laughs> End the turn. We're holding these cards in hand. We can use this to scry. Cool. So we fact or fictions. Alright, so the top pile will be face down. Done. So he knows that he has a Myers Grasp in one pile and two unknown cards in the other. Which one will he take? He took the lands! Ah, get good! <laughs> get gotten. I love Fact or Fiction effects, that was great. <laughs> cool. So we just need to keep not dying. Okay. Fine. That doesn't kill us yet. <laughs> Even if he gets in with both these creatures, it doesn't kill us yet. So past the blockers. Uh, we're gonna block the tough, the bigger creature. Damage. Yep. We're gonna take six. Yep, he goes back up. We're going to scry two. Land, land. We don't want either of those. My turn. Oh, oh, lovely. So, we're going to pump. Pump? Do we pump? Let's, uh, let's glimpse of freedom first. Ugh. Five other cards? We don't have that many cards. So in that case, we kind of need the blockers. <laughs> Feck. Uh, let's go to combat first. It's going to pump itself a little bit more. We get Ichthyomorphosis. That's good. Go up six, back up to nineteen. This doesn't have flash. Um, so that's only one ATBs. Plus one, plus one on vigilance. Plus one, plus one on lifelink. We ichthyo the shoal kraken, so it becomes like a yeah two three. We make our tokens. And we enter. And yes, we're holding all these lands in, in hand so that we can ship them to Dream Trawler. Creature or Planeswalker. You may put that card into your graveyard. Oh, look at the top card of your library. You may put that card in your graveyard. Yeah, fair enough. So then, exiling our Elspeth. No more escaping for us. Land into the graveyard. Gonna plus the Elspeth. Yep. So we're gonna take some damage here. 
How many do we have? Three in Graveyard? So we can use Dream Trawler's ability twice to discard two lands to enable us to glimpse, glimpse of free next turn. Uh, they have seven cards in their library so they can summon Elspeth again and pump the team again. But it looks like they're not gonna. It's interesting. Master Blockers. So we can either double hit the Atrus or we can just block each of these. I feel like that's the play. We take five, they gain two. We slowed down their lifelink a lot. They can't Elspeth this turn. Turbo Pass. Resolve. What do they target? Yep, we discard a land. Hexproof. How many do we have? Four. We'll just resolve that. Triumphant Search. That's good to have, and it's an instant. Um, let's discard a land. Ah, uh, that taps. Yeah, I forgot about that. Whoops. Um, I guess we just pass. So we wait until he does whatever he's about to do, which is probably Elspeth pump the team. If he does that, we triumphant search the menace creature. Three cards in their library versus our nine. We might just mill him, <laughs> which would be hilarious. But we kind of needed the life gain that last turn. He should, yeah, grow the team a little bit. Oof, that sucks. Resolve. Wait until attacks. Does this have menace? No. Alright, so we're going to kill Atrus. Good. Uh, past the blockers, we're going to block the Blight Breath. We take six, they gain two. Underworld Charger can't block. It escapes with counters, but at the moment it's on the board, so it's not a big deal. Oh, that's a good one to start with. Discarding that. Draw two. Trigger, trigger. Uh, Glimpse of Freedom. Yep. That leaves us enough for Memory Drain. Go to Combat. Attack Elspeth. They don't have enough cards to resummon her. We're going to go gain 8 life. Player planes. End the turn. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. 2 cards in library. We need some permanence. <laughs> we need some permanence. They don't have enough cards to re-summon Elspeth. Oh, we could have memory drained that. Should have memory drained that. Oof. My turn. Nadia Kraken's good. We're going to play it. Holding up memory drain. Question is, do we attack? I think we do. Because this draws us another card, gives us an extra blocker, replacing the Dream Trawler. Thrix, that's good. Uh, pay one, we're going to pay a white. 
Grows the team. We can play this on our opponent's turn. Okay. And we can't get that back, so that's fine. Do we need mana? One, two, three, four, five, six. This will give us seven. That's not enough to play multiple things. I think we just end the turn. Thrixter in combat, eat one of their dudes, not the Underworld Charger. Elspeth comes back. Right. That's not a problem. Does he have any trample? No. He only has vanilla creatures. Resolve. Pass to attack, it's one card in library. Play Thrix. Pass to blockers, start eating their attackers. <laughs> um, so I think we let the 4-4 lifelinker go. We eat the 4-3. We chump you. We eat you. Take damage. Down to five. Go to my turn. We draw a card. Uh, we pay. Whoa! Well, that game took a while. <laughs> well, turns out that uh, a deck where you just gain a lot of life and draw a lot of cards can actually win the game if your opponent has less cards in their library than you do. I don't know how they had less cards than we did. <laughs> we were drawing like multiple cards every turn. What the hell? Alright, on on to game four. No losses so far. I mean, this, this deck is performing somehow. It's very shaky in the early game. Very shaky in the early game. Like, this, no. Not capable. Not capable. Barely capable. Very barely capable. We don't want to put Dream Trawler on the bottom, I'm telling you that much. Keep six. Dump. Vexing Gull, I think, is the least useful. Maybe this will let us get like an early lead. Because we need some. <laughs> Alright, good. Alright, so we play Traveler's Amulet. Play a Plains. Sack the Traveler's Amulet for a blue. Get in. Haha, -ha, I'm winning by two. It's unfortunate we had to mull, but if we can just get some lands, like that one, that was an important one. I'm gonna hold up mana, make him think we have a counter. Ooh, three colors. Is he gonna scry? Or is he holding up counter spell? I mean, Faithful End's good. Serenity Sing is good. Play an island. We're not going to reveal that we're three colors yet. Could also just have a uh, flashy boy. He does, yes. Resolve. I don't particularly want to lose our Alcid of Life's Bounty yet. But I don't think there's any way around it. So I think we just take the damage. Yep. End turn. We need one more land drop to get Dream Traveler. Target enchantment you control to its owner's hand. That is 
Very good. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna take the baits. Next turn we can just shoot the chimera down. It's upkeep that that happens, yep. It's nice. We've gotten the lands we need. So now to Fateful End. Uh, Omen of the Sea. Do we want Omen of the Sea? I think we do. Mm. Yeah, we want it. So we'll leave that on top. Uh, no attacks. We'll hold up. Hold up to block. Captivating Unicorn. When enchantment enters the battlefield, tap tag creature and opponent controls. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, pass turn. No attacks. He's reading. He knows he can tap it down with Captivating Unicorn, but only realistically during his turn. He needs flash things like Omen of the Sea to tap it down on our turn. Or does he have like sacrifice a creature, kill a type of creature? That would be bad. We do have ways to prevent it from affecting us. Which we will happily do. My turn. Fantastic. Uh, we will go to attacks. We're going to hold this card drawer in our hand. Eidolon. That's a good card to discard. Uh, yeah, sure. You can have that. If he chooses to let this damage through, we can pump Dream Trawler. If I were him, I'd block, but I value my life. He chose not to, so we're going to Thrill of Possibility, the Eidolon. And we're going to Omen of the Sea. Scry to draw a card. Nadia Kraken's a good card. Um, we're going to hit him for 8. And we're going to hold these lands in our hand. So that we can discard them to Dream Trawler. We now have a 21 point lead in life. Because Dream Trawler is a very, very good card. Radio. That turns off our Glimpse of Freedom, but I don't mind. And it doesn't have reach, so it doesn't affect Dream Trawler very much. Uh, he is going to get in. I'm more than happy to allow it. No blocks. He only has one blue up, so he probably doesn't have any good counters. Now, this turn I am going to be playing a land. Because if I play this and he has the counter, unless your opponent um, pays four extra, I want to be able to pay four extra. Uh, yeah, no. No, I wanna, I wanna keep that. And we can Rose his blessing. Which I feel like is worthwhile. But it's probably better to keep it in our hand. Uh, no attacks. End the turn.
All right, second island. So now he could have counter spells. He's going to exile our Nadia Kraken. I'm not fond of it, but there's realistically not anything I can do. It's a shame. Past attackers. Does he attack? He does. I'm more than happy to pay seven. And he has lifelink, so he's going to be going up to 13. That's not the end of the world. My turn. Dream Trawler grows. Uh, we can't cast anything. Well, we can. We can cast a Roas' Blessing. Uh, which is probably worth playing. Yep, leaves us with three mana. Uh, I'm going to target the Singer. Well, do we target Dream Trawler to just gain life? Yep, we'll target the Dream Trawler to gain more life. Probably going to throw Threnody Singer under the bus at some point soon. Deal 4 damage. I'm going to target Kunaros. Turn off his lifelink. Mm-hmm. We're going to go to combat. Uh, we're going to attack. Cool. Uh, go to blockers. Does he block with his toot? Not yet. We'll glimpse of freedom before damage. If he doesn't block. If he blocks, we won't. One to the top, one to the bottom. Two blockers. He's going to block. So we won't glimpse of freedom this turn. We'll just take the life gain. And end our turn. And at the end of his turn... We will Omen of the Sea. Unless we need to draw an extra card for some reason. They have their own Dream Trawler. That's good. Past attackers. Gets in. Past blockers. Uh, don't think we block this. So, happily, his Dream Trawler doesn't block our Dream Trawler very well, and vice versa. So we can't really hold it up to block. I should have scryed there. Uh, yeah, go to combat. Get in with Dream Trawler. Draws us a card. Memory Drain. Fantastic. Uh, the blockers. Alright. Uh, we glimpse of freedom. Tapping like that, yes. Get rid of mountain. Get rid of a bunch of stuff. Hit him for seven. Arena trickster. Intriguing. Uh, we play an island, so now we're holding up Memory Drain, and we end our turn. So like I said, the Dream Trawlers don't block each other very well, because they attack as 5-5s. Five fives. But if I can get this Arena Trickster out, uh, resolve... Uh, we probably block with the Threnody Singer. Although now he's kind of open. Like open in the air. So I think we just do no blocks. We take our nine. See if he draws a bunch of cards and pumps up his Dream Trawler more. Looks like he doesn't. We're still on 20 life. He goes up to 11. Uh, I prefer that you didn't have that, I think. Yeah, I'd prefer that you didn't have that. Ooh, Elspeth is so good here. 
A wind denial might be good, but I think we're better off just doing it like this. Because we can, we can race him pretty hard now. Unless he has a flyer that he plays here. Or a way to untap things. Creature to the battlefield. It's unfortunate. Because now Elspeth won't be able to do its uh, graveyard shenanigans, I think. Um, yeah. Play out Elspeth. Neg our dudes. So I'm just thinking through. So that's that's lethal. Shouldn't have even had to think that much. That was lethal damage. Oof, this deck is performing much, much better than I thought it would. <laughs> Like so well in fact that I actually kind of don't want to be <laughs> don't want to be playing forever on on today today's stream. I was kind of hoping we'd be we'd be done by now, but we've still got like four more wins to go, three more wins to go. We haven't lost a game yet, <sighs> and we've won every single game with Dream Trawler. What the hell? <laughs> Why is this card so busted? Like, I legit might need to go and take a coffee break soon. Uh, this seems solid. Opponent goes first. I'm, I'm gonna keep. They kept as well. They have a Richie boy. Uh, when it is about to does damage equal to spend attack creature with flying. Escapes with three 1 1 counters, so that's four damage when it escapes. It's not the end of the world, and we have Kraken. This mono green. Um, yeah, let's sack this for planes. Play it out. Play our life linker, who is also a fairly important part of my future plans. Because plus one, plus one, and trample until end of turn. Uh, no blocks. So yes, as I was saying about my future plans, I would like Nadia Kraken to come out when I have one mana floating for Alcide to protect it. Um, so this turn we can either Ichthyomorphosis or Alter of the Pantheon. Um, I feel like Nyx Herald is worthwhile to Ichthyo, but I think it's Alter this turn. Uh, no attacks. Creature card or land card into your hand. And or land card. He has both creatures and lands. So you got Renata. Did he not get a land? Did he choose not to get a land? Because I'm pretty sure he had a land in his hand. Yeah, we're not going to take any any blocks here. My turn. So Renata is well worthwhile <laughs> ichthyomorphosing. And we are going to do precisely that. Uh, this turn it is release the Kraken. Two mana, no attacks, end the turn. And we just need to play slow. 
Nice and slow. Again, I'm... Yeah, he had a forest. He could have taken the forest. I don't know why he didn't. Because now he's Mr. Landrop to not, not reading his cards effect. And this Kraken is going to get out of control very quickly. Our opponent's thinking, but he's not hovering over anything. So he might have decided to go get, go get a drink, go to the bathroom. Sorry about the desk sounds there. Oh, I have dropped a couple of frames at some point. But not many, which is good. Someday I'll have good internet and I won't have to worry about this. I'll be able to stream at a much higher... Oh, yeah, they're, they're using their timeouts. They appear to have... Uh, appear to be either slow playing the Christ out of me, which is a bannable offense, or they, uh, they've just left. <laughs> Entirely possible that they just left, or had some kind of internet connection interruption. Oh, nope, they're back, they're back. Uh, cool. You're gonna get rid of my Traveler's Amulet. Good for you, buddy. So next turn we can hold up Memory Drain. Uh, it gives this creature a Trample. Okay. Still doesn't get through the Nadir Kraken. Uh, enchanted creature, so he could have pumped it and gotten it through the Kraken. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take our beats there. Yep. No blocks. We will very quickly catch up, I think, with the Kraken out. We're just gonna be generating a lot of one ones and growing this Kraken very quickly. Thrill of possibility. Yes, I would like to pay one. Play Mountain. Do we Ichthyo? <coughs> no, we do not. And we don't thirst for meaning or memory drain this turn. So instead we pass. Holding up our manners. We can thirst for meaning and still have enough mana to pay one or two for the Kraken. Right, he's going to draw a card. Digging for lands. Our Kraken has grown to the point where we can deal with some of our opponent's threats. Resolve. Pass to attackers. Is he going to attack? No, he's not. Well, in that case, we thirst for meaning now. Uh, we're going to discard... Could discard two cards. Or we can just discard Omen of the Sea. Let's discard Omen of the Sea. Trigger, trigger. Pay one. Pay one. Uh, do we want to keep up red? It doesn't particularly matter. Tap the Pantheon. Play red. See so now we can hold up Memory Drain pretty easily. Get in with the Kraken. And that has swung things quite well in our favour. No thanks. Thrix is worth keeping. Resolve. Pass to attackers. We will throw a bunch of tentacles under the bus.
might have a one mana pump spell. Though I personally haven't seen any in this format. And the Kraken continues being friggin' awesome. We are going to pay one. To combat. Unleash the Kraken. Our opponent's sitting at a very dangerous life total. That may be why he's not mono green. Might have some double red spells in hand. Ooh, Nick Spawn Colossus. Fancy. Play Thrix. My turn. Put a counter on the Kraken. Play an island. Ichthyromorphosis. And good game. Yeah, we were winning that one. <laughs> My god, this deck just continues to beat. I didn't have this much faith in it when we first put it together, but it is working out. We're just uh, two wins away from getting those covered 2200 gems and completely <laughs> getting all of our gems back. One win away from coming out completely even. But we're into the big boy, the big boy rounds now. It's when the real players start playing. Probably going up against other decks that are sitting at six or seven wins. I think it's a keep. It's great. Like that's that's solid. We're going first. We get to keep the pace. Lead on blue. Pious Wayfarer. Dream Drawer. Nice. Very very nice. Uh, go with go with red. Pass turn. Ooh, hello Daxos. That's a 2-3 boy. Yeah, we'll block it. Um, I feel like we probably Ichthyo the Daxos. Or we Glimpse of Freedom to try and draw a land drop. Let's try and hit that land drop. Didn't get there. No attack, so hold back to block. Alright, white black. Indomitable will. Oh, well, that's flashy. Swinging in with a 4 7. We'll take the damage. We'd rather keep the creature at this stage. Alrighty. Up to four. Gives him plus one, plus two. Turn Daxos into a wee babby creature. No attacks. Archon. Uh, yeah. Take one. Ugh. Not getting lucky. We need this altar. Play out the life linker. No attacks. I feel like we want to try and keep Alci just in case we get a land drop next turn. It needs to be an island or a plains. Past the blockers. Block with Trinity Singer, keep Alcide. He's going to be gaining some life. We really need an Islander of Plains here. Well, better lucky than good. If we play this and they have removal, we're pretty screwed. 
But if we don't play it, we're pretty screwed. <laughs> I don't know, we, we don't have to worry about removal. We can give it hexproof at instant speed. Uh, do we get in? I don't think we get in. We can start holding up memory drain next turn. Uh, no attacks. End my turn. So he's actually in three colors. Alright, 3-3 three, three flyer. Not the biggest problem in the world. Sweet. So we're going to play Traveler's Amulet. Main phase. Go to combat. Uh, swing with Dream Trawler. We need the card, we need the lifelink. He's gonna multi block. Probably. He's not gonna multi block. Interesting. Or well, maybe he is. We're not on the blockers stage yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, who do we want to kill? We want to kill the lifelink creature. Sacrifice Alcide. Targeting the Dream Trawler. We want to give it Pro White. Game. Pass, pass priority back. Yep, pro white. Go to damage. Yep, Dream Trawler takes no damage. Play out of planes. We're still holding up memory drain at the moment. If we tap down. No, I, th I feel like it's going to be an end step Traveler's Amulet activation. Alright, past attackers. I think we start blocking now. My turn, okay. Grab a land. In this case, I think we want an island. Thirst for meaning, that's good. Go to combat. Swing in with Dream Trawler. It's gonna trigger. Go to blockers. Alright. Activate Thirst for Meaning. Leaving up enough mana for Memory Drain. And they conceded on 23 life. That one was actually pretty, pretty squirrely. Uh, there were a lot of moments there that needed some careful thinking. <laughs> Alright, we're one win away from going 7-0 in the sealed pool. Oof. Hey, Mass Panic. How you doing, man? Sorry if you messaged that like ages ago, but uh, I do not have my chat set up terribly well for me to read it. Um, yeah, with 6-0 in the sealed pool with this really weird blue, white, red card draw win with only dream, dream trawler deck. <laughs> uh, where... We have won all but one of our games with Dream Trawler. Uh, and that last game, our opponent conceded on like turn four because we had a Kraken on the board. <laughs> I, I was not expecting this deck to go that far. How are you doing today? Hmm. And we've got some removal, we've got some counter, we've got some card draw. It's probably worth keeping. Our opponent's going first, which isn't ideal. But they are mulliganing, so I'm going to keep. Alright, Sterling. 
You're potentially my last opponent away from getting 7-0. <laughs> Alright, so they mold 6. They play in black. Alright, it's nice to see you red. Uh, we'll lead with blue, see what they do. Gold 4, nice. Uh, let's make them think that we're a different color combo than we are. Gold is not so bad. I mean, can, what, the Theros block constructor don't, has only been going for how long? Like a week? A few days? Uh, he's not going to have any attackers. Let's do some scrying and drawing. Arena Trickster's good. Nyad is also very good. And we kind of want them together. And we can play Nyad this coming turn. Alright, let's go with this. Uh, they'll probably remove all of this, if I had to guess. Um, but, you know, it's worth trying. Mono Black, yeah, I hear the Mono Black Devotion deck is redonkulous. Like, we're finally getting to Gary people out in Standard again for the first time in many years. Alright, so this, this deck has a surprising amount of life gain. So I don't mind too much that uh, that he's getting some early beats in. So here's where we start having questions. Uh, do we hold up Whirlwind Denial or do we not? I think we do. I'm going to attack with Nyad, see what he does. Now what would be best is if I had Arena Trickster out and I could hold up Whirlwind Denial, but you can't have everything. Omen of the Sun. Yep, no thanks. He definitely has better targets to hit with Whirlwind Denial, but unfortunately, since it only makes them pay for extra... Ice Graphs? Yeah, fair enough. Figured that would happen. Since it just makes them pay extra, um, you can't really rely on it in the late game. Alright, so we're in Arena Trickster territory. See if he has another removal spell. Another Myers Grasp would be pretty bad for me. But again, we're in the we're in the delay game right now. We're just dragged to the underworld. Fair. Yeah, we we are playing the long con here. Uh, we just want to get to the late game, get our big old life gaining card drawing creatures out, and uh, win the game from there. Um, so we'll hold off on casting anything for now. We'll faithful end during our opponent's turn. Three color. Um, do I want to take take damage here? I think I'm okay with taking damage here. Taking two isn't the end of the world. And I want to see what they cast. Hero Fart. Uh, top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Well, that's definitely worth fateful ending over the Temple Thief. Gives us a scry glimpse of freedom. Is that worth is that worth taking, or do we need to? I think we need to dig a little deeper than that. We really want to be hitting our dream trawler soon. Uh, not yet. Uh, we could ichthyo, but I feel like we hold it up and hold up memory drain. And we're holding up omen of the sea, which will activate during their turn if they don't play anything that we need to memory drain. Alright, they're going to get him for 2. This Temple Thief has dealt 10 damage. Glory Bearers. I mean, it's definitely a card. And I would prefer them not to have that card. Alcide and Rose's Blessing. I don't think either of these are particularly useful right now. So we're going to dig hard. And yeah, we can still activate Omen of the Sea. And we will activate Omen of the Sea. Land, land. We do not need land, land. Threnody Singer could be a lot worse. Um, I don't want to get rid of Ichthyomorphosis. It's too useful. So let's just pass turn. We can play this out and start blocking the Temple Thief, except it can't be... Can't be all fucking enchantment creatures, and this isn't an enchantment creature. Perfect. Do 
attackers. Yeah, I start getting pretty uncomfortable at 10 life, opponent. Nah, no blocks. See what he does. Well, I'm very glad that we kept Ichthyomorphosis <laughs> instead of casting Thrill of Possibility. Because <laughs> this is very important that we had Ichthyomorphosis for when he played Pelucronos. Uh, it still has counters. It just loses all of its abilities. Nice. Oh, this is bad. At least it doesn't have Trample anymore. <laughs> It didn't even have trample, but it's a legendary fish now. Uh, this is bad. <laughs> uh, past turn. <laughs> Ooh. The Pelucronos beats. Oh, oh, that's bad. That is so very bad. That's going to get big real quick. Uh, pasta blockers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to block like this. Oh, this is not good at all. Um, sure. The fact that it doesn't have trample is the only thing that's going to keep me alive for any amount of time. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, that's not what I was looking for. Let's thin the deck down. This is so very bad. That's a 14-15. Mother of God, that's a hell of a combo. <laughs> Pelucronos with Hydra's Growth. Woof. We need to start gaining life and making creatures, like, right now. <laughs> Exile enchantment, you make a zombie. Okay. Now, oddly enough, there is a card in this deck that would have allowed me to... Oh. Well, good game, opponent. <laughs> I'm gonna let him hit me. Oh, this is the first loss we've had, and it doesn't feel great. Oof, that ichthyomorphosis was not as useful as I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. <laughs> so I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind, that you can you can do that with good old Paluk. Still, we've got two more losses before we lose, and we've already made all of our gems back. So I'm, I'm still doing pretty good. Let's see if we can't get the 7-1. Yeah, the deck has been surprisingly consistent in that it has like a weak early game. You draw into good delaying spells, and then you delay the game until you can just win. I even milled one opponent out just by delaying three for their entire deck with Elspeth. Elspeth is a beast, by the way, in Limited. Alright, so this is a very familiar looking hand. Uh, but I'm going first this time. Do I want to mulligan and see if I can actually pull some gas, or do I want to rely on my card draw? It's a risky keep, but I do have two losses left, so let's go for the risky keep. Alright. And let's have our opponent think that we have some kind of response to whatever they do. Hello again, Daxos. We have met before. Ooh, well, Elspeth is actually decently good here. Um, Erosa's Blessing, a little bit less so. Because at the moment we don't have any creatures to attach it to, even though we do have the mana to cast it. Um, do I just go done? Nah.
All right, thrill of possibility is good here. All right, next born pumps the buttocks on Daxos, and our opponent gains a little bit of life. Um, if I thrill, do I ditch a mountain? I think I do. I like these cards. So we're going to pitch a mountain. Well, we didn't pull any... Well, we did pull some land there. That's good. Um, so we can either Plains, Elspeth, Downtick make two dudes. Or we can, like, Island Arena Trickster. Arena Tricksters are going to be important later in the game. Elspeth is useful now, but we're only... Like, all we would do with the dudes is, like, block a little bit. Um, so I think it's going to be Island Arena Trickster. Hope that it doesn't get removed. Because we want to have it out while we're countering our opponent's spells and such. So, for example, next turn, if this Trickster survives, we're going to hold up mana for Memory Drain and Thrix. And then we can do some tricky combat shenanigans. Sentinel's Eyes, yep, 3-5. Um, with 3 mana open, I'm not going to block Daxos. A Crow and War, that is a good card. That is a very good card. Play out the planes. So I feel like we're better off waiting until our opponent's turn and then doing stuff. We might be taking some beats. But yeah, the Akroan War was the out that I was talking about with, with that Pelucranos deck. If we'd pulled this, we would have won the game virtually on the spot. Uh, just steal their Pelucranos, beat them about the face with it, or use it to block. Just wipe their board while we're delaying and delaying and delaying. Um, yeah, pass the turn. So, on our opponent's turn, we're either going to be countering something that they cast during their main phase, uh, growing the Trickster, blocking something, or we're going to wait until combat, play Thrix, and block stuff. And it looks like that's what's going to happen. Uh, we don't want to pass to blockers, we want to play Thrix. And I'm kind of hesitant to block anything, so I'm just not gonna. I'm just gonna let it happen, I'm gonna take the, take the beats and see what he does. He does nothing, uh, which makes me feel kind of terrible. So we can't play anything and hold up Memory Drain. So instead we're just going to hold up Memory Drain. And next turn we actually will start doing some uh, some blocking. Our opponent seems like he's got a handful of green cards. Was not what I was about to say, but that's probably what he has. Doing some serious thinking here. Alright, goes to attacks. This is interesting. So if we block with Thrix and he does something to pump the power on Nyxborn, there's nothing we can really do about it. Whereas if we block with Trickster, and he casts something, we can Memory Drain. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to block with Trickster, leave Thrix up, see what he does. Because he probably has something like that. So we Memory Drain it, grow the Arena Trickster, and then we see if he has another one. This is worth keeping, this is worth keeping. So we're going to leave them both on top. Cool, we kill the the uh, next spawn. Siona. 
Look at the top seven, reveal an aura, put it into your hand. Whenever an aura becomes attached to a creature control, make a token. Cool. So, did he just not get an aura? I'm guessing he didn't, because we're not. they haven't revealed it. Sentinel's eyes exiling, yes. Yes, making dudes, doing things. Uh, we could have Crow and War here. Uh, we could Elspeth. We could hold up Triumphant Surge, which is probably the correct play. Uh, indeed, I think it is. Although I really wish I could cast Elspeth and start gaining life. I think we just need to play real slow. Yeah. I think we just need to play real slow. Use our filtering, use our card draw, use our interaction. Alright, that's good. We can kill that with Triumphant Search. And we're going to Before Combat. Arena Trickster grows a little bit more. He has Sentinel's Eyes in his graveyard again. Ichthyomorphosis is good. We have six mana. So we can't do two things, but we can Ichthyomorphosis leaving up Omen of the Sea. We'll do it the other way around, use Omen of the Sea and then Ichthyomorphosis. Uh, we're gonna go to combat first, attack with the Trickster, see what he does. Probably just throws a... doesn't even throw a 1-1 in front of it, that's... I would have jumped that in a heartbeat. Um, is it time to just a Crowan War? A Crowan War is gonna slow him down a lot. Like, a ludicrous amount. Because we'll get his Siona, he can't build his board for a little while. He's not forced to attack this turn, but he is next turn. Alright, he exiles the Thrix spawn. I would have gone for the Trickster. We've got a lot more invested in it. Non-creature spells your opponent's cast costs two more until your next turn. Return card. Your creature planes will cut from your graveyard to the battlefield with a counter. Alright, so his creatures are forced to attack. I think this is a good turn to play out our second Trickster. Because he's not going to be doing anything particularly interesting uh, in terms of attacking next turn. We can attack with one creature, we're going to attack with the 6-6. Six, six. Yep, he chumps. Yep, non-creature spells cost two more. That's fine. Next spawn Colossus. We can Ichthyo that very easily. It's going to cost five, but you know, it's not the end of the world. Has to attack with this 1-1. One, one. We block. Fateful End is expensive, but castable. And we can cast it on our opponent's turn for less. So we're just going to do that. Alright, returns Daxos with a 1-1 one, one counter. It's currently a 3-6. Cool. Uh, we're going to Fateful End the Siona before that it equips. Land. Land is okay, but I'm digging. Yep, Daxos triggers. Resolve. 8-9. We can play the Vexing Gull. This doesn't give it Trample, but it does give it the ability to attack, to fight something. Which is unfortunate. But now it can't attack. Sentinel's eyes on Daxos. 
resolve pass to attackers I'm guessing but but why <laughs> but why opponent uh, I am absolutely going to block this it doesn't it doesn't have trample but it does have first strike feck all right play out vexing goal we're gonna keep our arena trickster for now just gonna chump this Cool. Um, yeah. We've got to ichthyo this next spawn. We've got to deal with it. Down to a 2-5. Uh, we pass the turn. Our opponent's turn. They draw. Not very good, like, card advantage engines in uh, green white. Uh, pass to blockers. We're going to block here. Block. Play this. We're going to drop your power and toughness. Your power. Cool. Uh, we play Elspeth. Yes, we do. We play Traveler's Amulet. We're going to thin our deck. Yes, we're going to thin our deck looking for probably blue. We don't have any double red that we need to worry about. Play out that land. We're going to... Make... Some... Tokens. Get in with the Arena Trickster. Doesn't have trample. Chump. Sweet. Uh, we're going to down tick Elspeth, gain life. Going to cast Elspeth. Exiling you, 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 and that's it. Play out the mountain. I'm gonna uptick. Or are we just gonna down tick? I think we're just in, gonna down tick. Uh, no attacks. Hold back to block. Goes to combat. Yes, we are going to jump. Land. Fun. Nice and fun. Let's keep delaying. <laughs> um, yeah, we just passed turn. Holding up Omen of the Sea. We're gonna scry, dig even deeper into our deck, looking for one of our one of our win cons, of which we have a few. Go to blocks. I feel like in this top decking scenario we win because we draw into our gas faster than our opponent does. Like this gas right here that we're going to draw right now. Uh, yep. Play Dream Trawler. Hold this planes in our hand. Very important. Pass turn. And that's the 7 1. Oh, ha, ha. Ooh. two hour sealed session, but we got the win and we only lost to a very, very good Pelucronos combo. And honestly, I feel pretty good about that. Hey, thanks. All right. What's this? Minions return. Neat. Uh, I wish I could wish I could look at the deck. Look at the deck list. 
But uh, we'll claim the prize. Very nice, very nice. And I'll see if I can't... Does it? No, it doesn't pop into here. So I'm just going to look at a couple of the key cards that we just had. Um, so... First of all, we had uh, Dream Trawler here. So, 3-5 Flying Lifelink. Whenever you draw a card, it gets plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn. When it attacks, you draw a card. And you can discard a card at instant speed to give it hexproof until end of turn, but then you tap it. Important, tapping it isn't part of the cost, it's part of the effect. So if it's already tapped, you can still activate this ability. So it's a 3-5 on defense. Are you going to bounce around? Hey! Yeah, I'll probably be playing off and on. Um, I tend to work nights, so I'll usually be earlier in the day. But um, yeah, thanks for coming around, Mass Panic. I uh, hope to see you in the future. But yeah, so Dream Trawler here. When you attack with it on your turn, because you've drawn one card, and then you've drawn a card when it attacked, it attacks as a 5-5 five, five flying lifelink. Already look ridiculous. But if you're in a heavy blue deck, you can absolutely get a lot more card draw than that. Yeah, catch you, man. And I'm just going to look at one more card here, if I can get out of this window. Um, God, what was it called? Uh, Kraken. This one, the Nadir Kraken, which, um, whatever. Uh, whenever you draw a card, you can pay one, it gains a plus one, plus one counter, and you summon a 1-1 one, one blue tentacle creature token. This card <laughs> won me one of my games by very simply being on the board turn four with uh, the white card that you can give pro whatever color you want to a different creature by sacrificing it. I just had this out on the board, I just waited several turns, grew it each turn, paid into it. It ended up being like a 9-10, <laughs> um, swinging every turn, and I just had an army of tentacles to block. It was amazing. Anyway, that's going to be it from me today. Today's stream actually went better than most of mine do. I uh, only dropped 12 frames over the course of two hours. My Australian internet did not cuck me this time. So um, hopefully some more streams in future. Sometime around the middle of the year, I'm told, we should get slightly better internet in my area and I'll be able to actually stream real games at like a real size. But uh, for now, I'm happy that this is working out and I'm going to be streaming some more off and on basically whenever I get the time. But yeah, that's going to do it for today. I uh, hope you, anyone watching this VOD on YouTube or on Twitch is having a great day too. And I'll uh, catch you all in the...